ESPN. Uh, if you just go down the line, uh, what's your prediction for uh, New York versus Philly in the semifinals? And yeah, no, Philly. I believe in my Europeans. <laughs> <laughs> Going down the line. Wait, down the line. Down the line. The games would go, and then I, and then mistake. Yep. Yeah. New York, New York, yeah. 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 Poor Cal. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll be the one left. <laughs> Bit of ass. So. I said New York. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Um, any World Cup predictions, guys? What do you what what home regions do you think will do well? Denmark. <laughs> Russia. Russia. I'm pretty sure Canada's gonna win this year. Easy class. <laughs> I have maybe, a hunch South maybe Korea. Korea? Be good. Oh, I have a hunch. Yeah, I think South Korea might be good. No. Not sure. No. no. That's not Canada. That's not Canada. Yeah. The extended universe stuff right there. But, <laughs> but in, in general I think uh, this year will be more interesting because there's going to be a lot of overseas players on different countries, from different countries, pretty much. And you know, I think some teams, for example, I think Finland did not had a lot of success last two years, and now they have like really stuck roster. So yeah. So to to follow up on that, like, what effect do you think um, this season of Overwatch League will have on the level of competition within the World Cup? Um, I think kind of just brought to light a lot of, and kind of put the forefront on like the top players from each region. And before it was kind of like a the competition. You know, if you didn't have like big open tryouts for each region, it was tough to find really who's the best player on each role per region. But now that you have Owl and contenders, which are like set and you know which, which countries people are from, it just makes everything easier and a lot faster to kind of swap the roles. So. I have to know. Did y'all prefer Mike's pastries or Mar pastry? What did we pick? We all had both. Yeah, we had both. No, but we both didn't. We pick the same one. No, I don't think anyone tried them at all. I didn't get anything. Yeah, they what? didn't have. They didn't have. They didn't have it. It was just Luke, it was just Luke and I that had them. What? Yeah. Which one did you guys like? I, I don't like sweet things in general. So. Was it Mike? What? You, you chose Mike's, you yeah. chose modern. I think I think you chose modern? You're wrong. Yeah. You're not wrong. He is wrong. You're not Thank wrong. You're not wrong. I'm not wrong. I, I know I'm right. Oh, man. What did you get at Mike's? Cannoli. But what, we we got, got the same there's like a thousand. We got the same cannoli. We, 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 took, we took, it was very The vanilla one. Do you remember what flavor? Was it like? It was like, um. It just had like, it was like mis just the plain Moscato with that and it had like the drizzle of chocolate and like peanuts oh. or almonds, mm -hmm. almonds probably, it's probably almonds and like a little whipped cream and we both took a bite on either end and we had the same one. Yeah. I did like a, an Oreo one like last time I was there, it was really good. It doesn't sound very traditional, we're very traditional. It doesn't, here. but I mean I've been there a million times so it's like, once you go traditional you gotta go with all the flavors. But I'm glad you're right. Yeah. I'm sorry. You're both right, you're wrong. <laughs> we'll go with Tyler from ESPN. Uh, this is for note, um, or anyone who wants to chime in. So, season's over. Uh, obviously, a lot of you guys have the World Cup coming up, but looking at the offseason, it's going to be, what, five, maybe six months long. How do you feel about the length of the offseason? Do you think that there should be more things to, you know, not just have a chunk of the year where you guys, some of you guys might not even be playing for them? Yeah. World Cup takes up a significant portion of that time that's in four different countries around the world and it has to move around all the leagues so that takes up a lot of the time and I think the amount of break that we have is good I don't know if five months is too much but it's definitely a lot um, I'm looking forward to having a little bit of a break but I do want to get back into playing as soon as I can um, so yeah it's, it's a lot of time um, this question for anybody Al instituted the third series having the map pick um, did you guys feel like that was an advantage at all? Uh, you have that? Uh, too many things change too quickly, so it's. I don't think it's like an advantage or disadvantage for anybody. It's just like another interesting thing, I guess, to add to the series. I was just keep it going. Uh, so, and uh, season review for this. Anyone who wants to answer, uh, can be serious or not so serious. Be you know, locker room stuff, but. What's one thing you'd want to change going to season two? Like, what's one thing about the Overwatch League that you would want to change from season one to season two? You could probably just do that, like, one from each person. One yeah. yeah. yeah what's one thing you'd want to change about the league? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I 
the league is too long. So I, I hope they can make, make like just two seasons in one year, like short season. Long sleeve jerseys. <laughs> That's what I want. Uh, I think okay, we basically had 10 minute break between our first series and second, and it was like really hard for me personally because I got like really tired on like second half or second series. So I think breaks should be longer if you play like two best of five today, you know, at least 30 minutes. Um, I was probably for practice rooms. I think they should have windows and or like proper air conditioning. So right now you can't really like choose the temperature. It's only just like really cold or it's really hot. So yeah, practice rooms is very true. Gamsu, you want to help out here maybe? Maybe. <laughs> 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 season two, 들어가면 뭐가 바뀌었으면 좋겠어. 나도 그냥 노트처럼 그냥 혹시 좀 개선해. Yes, same idea as not. Practice room. Okay, proper air conditioning. Avast. Oh, am I going? Okay, I guess we're just going to be next. Okay, whatever. Are you on the desk here? Well, technically, theoretically, I'm on the edge of the desk. You know, it's right over here. But uh, first of all, I'm not actually leaking anything. I don't think Blizzard people, if I say that long sleeve jerseys are possibility for next season, right? Hey. Oh. <laughs> oh, breaking news. Don't tell Slasher that. <laughs> <laughs> no decision has been made. No decision has been made. I'm saying possibility. <clears throat> it makes sense. I didn't, possibility. I didn't say the percentage of possibility. <laughs> did, did you get Please. the light up chopstick? Oh, I got the light up oh, chopstick. Okay. Right. Still have that? Actually, it felt it was, it was pretty nice because it was like, I said something was cool and then they just immediately flew off the shelves. There was no light up You were the only one. <laughs> You were <laughs> yeah, technically, yeah. technically. Oh, you though, found I, it. I in the video, I gave, I gave. It was actually originally Kellogg's because he came to hey, there's light up chopsticks in the pack. Guys, guys. Did you take so. any? Yeah, but like my, one of them didn't work. So <laughs> one of each like, pack. One of each yeah. pack didn't work. So I took another pack. They, they went so fast. Yeah. And for the actual suggestion of why uh, for Overwatch League, I would say, uh, it's like, I would agree in that the season maybe could be split up better, in that like there is like a player burnout issue. Um, now, and it, but it depends if you view World Cup as like an extension of Overwatch, like as an ecosystem, because that's sort of how, in my opinion, how they do it now. Like Overwatch World Cup is supposed to like take the place of that off season, which is why it's so long. Uh, which I'm mean, yes, to agree with, but like it's just like that's how it is. So. Would you say that like because I think I talked to Rockus about this in an interview. He said like if. You know how all teams have to play like every week, right? Like, would you guys like be more comfortable if it was the same length, but maybe you played every other week? Do you think that would be something that like would help with the burnout issue? Are you mm -hmm. suggesting for less matches overall or the same number but lasting? Like, uh, these are better questions that would be directed to the league and not the yeah. players. Okay. So, uh, we have time for one more question, Adam. So uh, at the beginning of the season, uh, it was kind of stated that the Uprising was kind of playing a long-term game, investing in uh, a lot of young talent that would build over uh, several years. Um, and we have seen you guys improve dramatically over the course of uh, the season. Do you think that that kind of consistency and that long-term strategy is going to benefit you going into Season 2 and beyond? And if so, how? Well, we have started with, or we have started with kind of nothing, and we've moved over to now a good base. What we can do for the next season now is we can do that process again, but now we're starting with a good base, and then we also have that talent that can improve and can become new like new individual players that are star kind of potential. So now we're starting with a bedrock that we didn't really have before, so I think it's kind of just like um, exponential improvement almost for next season. Possibility at least. <laughs> so articulate. I like that answer. That's so articulate. Give him a star on the fridge for that. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.